हेलो एवरीवन आई एम गुरुप्रसाद दास तो आज साइंस डे उपलक्षे फकीरमोहन विश्वविद्यालय रे साइंस एक्जीबिशन अनुषित हो तो आसतु भितर देखिए कमी कौन चलती आरेजमेंट मीडिया फ्रेंड्स 
I am extremely honored to have such a great opportunity to introduce the dignitaries before you. So first of all, I am introducing Professor Santosh Kumar Pipati, sir, the president of this occasion. He has more than 30 years of teaching experience. I am Pandarara Vaitrans Paripalita Nijyoti Sir, Dr. Santosh Kumar Agrawal, Head of the Department of Applied Management, and the Pandarara Buddhist and he is a popular teacher and scientist that all knows. So, as I am going to talk about this, I am going to talk about analysis. I love your work, love your science, love your science. That's a reinforcement because zirconium, uh, when I test that zirconium diboride with no additive, only zirconium diboride I will use, then it has a strength of 565 five megapascal. Okay, if I will add 10%, 20%, or 30% of uh, silicon carbide, that it will uh, goes to 700 to 1000 megapascal. You can understand the strength, how the strength are increasing. Okay, so the synthesizing, uh, synthesizing this process is. Uh, uh, quite complicated, but I would like to explain very simply. Okay. So the synthesis uh, we are using in metallurgy, that is powdered metallurgy. Okay, we will take two types of powder, one is silicon carbide uh, and another is zirconium diboride. Okay, so how I will check that this powder is silicon carbide or this powder is zirconium diboride. So I can take the S XRD. In the XRD pattern, I can uh, found that uh, this is peak value at zirconium, uh, silicon carbide and zirconium diboride. Okay, after the taking two powder, I will mix the powder. So it is not like mixing salt or flour, but it is like uh, in a ball milling process. I will mix the uh, powder. And when I will mix the powder in ball mixing pro process, I will get a homogeneous uh, uh, compo composite. Uh, Etc. They are also creating a lot of problems. So here we have devised green power village. And the, the concept is alga lamp. That is the lamp to light our art. So this is a completely eco-friendly process. 
and it is more efficient than solar cell because in solar cell we are using EVs which are totally non-biodegradable and we are also using tempered glasses. So plant extract to prepare a nanotechnology, sorry nanoparticles from the plant extract. Like we have taken the metal that is AgNO3. We can use it in biopesticides or in a crop management like uh, increasing, the, increasing the crop. Uh, it's a new in, in agriculture.